the full form for PLC is programmable logic controllers. These are microprocessor or microcontroller based systems that are extensively used in process and manufacturing industries. The various industries like process plants, for example, cement, cement plants, zinc plants, or uh, different type of food and processing plants. Apart from process plants, industries like uh, ship ports where loading and unloading of lot of bulk material handling system takes place. There also you will find the application of PLC. It is used in manufacturing sectors also. A PLC comprises of basically CP, that is the central processing unit. At first we have the power supply, then the central processing unit, then there are signal modules as well as function modules. Signal modules based on the type of signals, whether it is digital signal or analog signal, based on that we used to have digital input and output modules and analog input and output modules. In manufacturing sector, let us take the example of a computerized numerical control machine or a CNC machine. In a CNC machine, it acts like the brain of the machine. The entire sequence of operation of the machine is based on the program that is written in the PLC. This lab is dedicated to Siemens Make PLC. In this lab, we have S7200, S7300 and the latest one, S7400 Make of PLCs. This is the S7400 station in which we have first module, which is the power supply module. Then there is the CPU, central processing unit. This is CPU 412 2 dp Then there is a 32 channel digital input card, 32 channel digital output card, 8 channel analog input card which is having a resolution of 13 bit and 8 channel analog output card. Then there is a communication processor connected here that takes care of all the communication activities. This is the MPI interface, the multipoint interface that is used for communication between the CPU of the PLC and the PC. The software used here is called Sematic Manager, Step 7 Sematic Manager. Here you can see the simulator panel in which all these inputs and outputs are connected. 32 channels of digital inputs are connected to the switches. Out of 32 input, only 16 inputs are being used and these 16 inputs are connected through the switches to the digital input card. 16 outputs in the form of LEDs are connected to digital output card. Then this particular portion is for analog input and output connection. A simple lamp load is connected here to output, first channel output of our digital output card. The address for this output is Q4.0. As mentioned in the task earlier, First we have to open software semantic manager and then check the communication between PLC and PC by checking the accessible nodes. This is the main screen of the software. Here there is an option available to check the accessible nodes. Just click here and the system will show whether the communication between PLC and PC is proper or not. Here it is clearly showing that PC and PLC is having proper communication and it is connected through node number 2. Action. As mentioned in the task earlier, we have to open the software Sematic Manager. Then we need to check the communication between PLC and PC using accessible nodes. Here we have the option for accessible nodes. Just click on that. And if the communication between PC and PLC is proper, it will show the node address. Here it is showing MPI is equal to 2. It means the communication between PC and PLC is proper and it is communicating through node number 2. The next step is to create a project. For that, we will go to file, take new and then give a project name to it. Let us give project 1. Click a OK. A new project will be created. But this project is not having any details. So in order to get the details from PLC, 
we need to upload the station from PLC to PC. For that we have an option inside PLC called Upload Station to PG. Just click on Upload Station to PG. It asks for the slot number where the CPU is connected. CPU is connected to slot number 2. Hence we will be giving slot number 2 and then view the details. Now the system is showing that to node number 2 CPU 412-2 DP is connected. We need to select it and say OK. The end Here you can see that inside project 1 there is a station called Sematic 400. Inside Sematic 400 there is a CPU 412-2 DP and inside CPU you can find S7 programs in which there are two options called sources and blocks. Inside blocks we will find the option OB1 that is organization block 1 which contains the complete program of the PLC that is there inside the CPU of PLC. So we will double click OB1, open it and then we will make modification in this program. A simple program is written, the same program which I discussed earlier in which there is a start input with address I0.0, a stop input I0.1, there is a timer, this is an on delay timer with a delay time of 5 seconds and an output Q0.0. Now the problem is the input I0.0 is not working properly. The problem in this task is this switch is not working properly. When I am making it on and off, the status is not visible in my digital input card. Whereas all other switches are working properly, when I am making it on, you can see the status of all these switches here. Now what we are going to do is replace the address I0.0 with I1.0. Here you can see this switch is working properly and the status is also coming to our digital input card. Now we will modify this address I0.0. This will be modified to I1.0. After modification, we will download this program to PLC with the option download. The program is downloaded to the PLC. Now we can directly monitor it with the help of monitor tool. Now here we can see the status. At present I1.0 is off, hence there is no output. As soon as I make this switch on, the timer has started. It is running, it is there for 5 seconds. It is running, after 5 seconds the output will become high. Now we have made the modification in the program and successfully executed it.